Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. I wanted to make this video about a tablet that I purchased recently, which was the Lenovo Legion Y700. Uh, the main reason I got this tablet was for Call of Duty. Um, it seems perfect. I, ha I do have a bit bigger tablet, and it recently just lost support from uh, Xiaomi, and I did quite like this. It's a Mi Pad 5 tablet, so it recently lost support, but what Xiaomi do is allow the bootloader to be unlocked so you can flash new custom ROMs on there which I love when companies do this they don't lock the systems down so much uh, that you know after support finishes you can then get support from other places which is really really good so I've run lots of different ROMs on this um, just trying out different ROMs trying out um, unlocking and then locking the bootloader and just learning ADB and learning Android and, and how it all works behind the scenes um, I've done bits of it in the past and I've helped people unlock their phones and stuff uh, but I really wanted to have a good sort of play around with Fastboot D and, and, and what have you so I, I've put this back onto um, MRUI because this will receive the MRUI 15 update uh, based on Android 13 so I'll leave it on that for a while and then I'll put it back onto another uh, Android 14 ROM uh, it was on Arrow OS and then Evolution ROM they were the two ROMs that were quite good I've tested all the ones that are on XDA and they're all very good so to replace this big bulky tablet I wanted something that I could fit in my pocket that was easy to carry around um, and just had the horsepower to play Call of Duty which is my main favourite game that I like to play the Lenovo Legion Y700 seemed perfect for it it's an 8 inch tablet um, it has 16 gigs of RAM this version 512 gigs of uh, EMMC op storage and it's got a Snapdragon 8 70 something snapdragon let me get it up it's got a decent snapdragon in it i can't remember the model off the top of my head the the only problem with it is when i bought it it was only on the chinese version of the firmware so you had to do a few tweaks to get google play up and going but uh, once it was running it was fine the only issue it was a lot of the apps you would open up and it would open up in Chinese and as someone who doesn't read or speak Chinese that was really annoying um, and you couldn't change the full system to be uh, UK English like full UK English but there is a way to do this very easy you don't need to know anything about ADB anything about unlocking and Lenovo made this process very easy uh, what I'll do is I'm going to go over to display or screen capture and just walk you through the process because this firmware um, is how you would expect a firmware to be if you bought this say off Amazon in the UK every app is in UK English and the actual UI is slightly more different now <clears throat> on the forum it said that PC mode wasn't available uh, in this firmware well when I flashed it PC mode is available and working so this must have had an update to enable it or the person who made that update uh, made that post didn't fully dig into it but this firmware is probably the best I think for the Lenovo Legion Y700 and it's so easy to do uh, all you need is a USB-C cable that can uh, supply data make sure it's a data cable um, usually if you've got USB 3 at one end it's pretty much a data cable that's how you'll know um, the, the guide is quite easy to read online and then you'll need to plug it into the main um, debug port for this which is on this side this has two connections it has one here and one here so let me go over to display capture and this is for anyone who has this device or is thinking about getting this device so here is the main post um, about it, about this unlocking, uh, well not unlocking, about this flashing of the global firmware uh, and all you have to do it's written in uh, Korean so you just go to translate, I'm using Brave browser, uh, probably the best browser in the world, um, I love it, it's just got everything by default 
uh, on a side note, it's just got everything by default, all app locking, everything by default. Um, so yeah, this will talk about the process. Now, it, you can skip a lot of this because the Vision XDA post where someone said that they didn't unlock the bootloader and just went with the flashing and it worked fine. Um, I'll leave the links to all of this down in the description. So I thought I would give it a try and I can confirm it does work. You don't need to uh, unlock the bootloader to do this. He, he explains about unlocking the bootloader and the different versions and how moving from one to another uh, and the you can't roll back and, and things like that. So you install the Lenovo Rescue and Smart Assistant um, and that will be linked in this guide here. You install that which installs all of the drivers and stuff you need select your tablet uh, put in your serial number then select the model from the list so you will basically start from where the images begin instead of doing this part of it just start here and go through and it's made this really really pro uh, really really easy to do um, so yeah, it downloads the rescue firmware, you then power off your device, plug it into this while holding the volume up, and it will do it within about two or three minutes. Now it does come up with a warning saying that the, the tablets um, sold in the Chinese mainland are not supported, forcing this rescue may be risky. Um, I've tried it, it works fine, so again there's always a risk if you do things wrong, that's why on every step you need to take notes, make sure that you are following the guides perfectly uh, and that you're not skipping steps or going back over steps and you'll be fine. Um, and then it takes a couple of minutes and that's it, it will reboot and you'll have your global firmware uh, fully in English. So I can highly recommend doing this, it's nice and easy, it does work as long as you have the, um, if I go to where I bought mine from. I also bought a uh, controller as well with it um, that wraps around and makes this tablet into an absolute beast of a gaming system. So yeah, they're going for different prices. I think I paid around three fifteen something like that, um, and I got the higher sixteen twenty uh, sixteen gig and five twelve. But this is the new version that's out. So as long as you're on this version and you're going back uh, to the global firmware you'll you'll be fine uh, they're, they're selling them now with the global firmware global firm, firmware so if you if you bought it already with the global firmware you're fine but I think when I wanted to get it this wasn't available um, and actually the, this is less specs the, the Chinese version is a higher spec because this is only 12 and 256 and then this is 8 and one tw uh, eight and 120 gig so that's a lot cheaper but you don't get the same specs so I think when I did it it was the higher version but again it was only with uh, the, the Chinese um, Chinese version so that was mine 16 gig 512 uh, 374 you know it's, it's an awesome tablet Snapdragon uh, 8 plus it's very powerful, it charges within minutes, um, it's just such a good good tablet, I can highly recommend it. So this is the global firmware, um, it looks very different from the Chinese version, the launcher looks completely different. Uh, app drawer is similar, just there's no uh, kind of Chinese apps and, and what have you. Um, this wasn't in the other launcher which is Google's sort of media feed. Uh, this is quite custom to um, to Lenovo. Uh, my son's tablet. That's this is on there as well. Um, I guess you could get Google Feed or Google News as well. And yeah, it works really, really well. Uh, everything is in English as it's meant to be. And 
you've still got things like PC mode. PC mode there. And then I won't do it, but this will change it into um, PC mode. We've got key mapping. I'll confirm that. Then we've still got all the uh, features for key mapping as well. So if you want to do this, it's it's really, really simple. Um, like I said, you can have it done in under five minutes. So if you have that tablet or are thinking about it, then uh, you can do this process. It's nice and easy. Uh, go onto the XDA forums and, and read through. If you do want me to make some videos about unlocking um, tablets and phones and uh, Installing custom ROMs then please let me know in the description. I'll make a much longer more detailed video uh, I've got lots of different devices. The next one that I would like to do is this phone um, Because I fix a lot of tech and for the business I often come across devices where you know customers don't want it. They want to trade um, You know you might they might give you two phones and one of them is broken uh, and the other one needs parts and they'll just say keep that one or you know you can do different different deals for customers where I swap this phone with a another phone it was a um, read me it was a Xiaomi phone a read me phone this was in Chinese this was the same problem um, this is the what phone is this I'm just going to get the model number this is a really good phone as well it's an IQ00 or IQ, I don't know how to pronounce that. A Vivo phone. It's it's a decent spec phone. This has 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, it has 512 gigs of storage. Uh, it has a Snapdragon in it. But again, it has Chinese firmware. So the next device that I would like to do is this one. If you want me to make a video on unlocking this and going through the process, then I'll do that also. Um, I've got some other other kind of unlocking and Android related things that I would like to go through as well. So if, again, if you want to see that video, just let me know in the description, and it can kind of I can kind of gauge uh, where your um, technical knowledge is and uh, where you would like to learn and, and what you like to do. So yeah, this is uh, Core Computing, and it's great to be back on YouTube. It's great to be back uh, on the community and, and making videos again. And I'll uh, see you all in the next one.